Welcome back, everyone. Well, we know summertime means family vacations, there's a break from school, but it's also important to not take a break from giving the gift of life. That's right. Hospitals see a decline of blood donations during the summer months, and of course, the need for blood remains constant. We're joined now by Cameron Palmer with the Gulf Regional Blood Center. Thank you so much for joining us. I think this is an obvious question here, but talk about the importance of blood in our community. Well, right now, you know, we serve the largest medical center in the world, the Texas Medical Center, where the need for blood is always constant. We need about a thousand units every day just to meet the needs right here in our greater Houston area. And you know, that need is ongoing. You know, there's patients every day that are, you know, struggling with trauma, chemotherapy, women hemorrhaging during labor. There's so many reasons why people need blood. And you know, our community is what actually supplies the blood to our hospitals. Mm -hmm. So important. And for those who may have never donated before, want to know more about the process, kind of walk us through what that looks like well the process is very simple you know you walk into one of our neighborhood donor centers or one of our mobile coaches you check in you do a, a health screening some eligibility questions and then you know just a, a quick stick in the arm and you're donating the blood and saving lives seems so easy and I know I'm sure this is a question that many people have as well how often can someone donate you can donate about every eight weeks a typical whole blood donation is about every eight weeks and you know it does save many lives it can save many lives right here in our community and people really rely on that every day. Now, this is something that comes up quite a bit. Uh, is there a certain type of blood that's needed right now? Well, O blood, you know, is, is mm -hmm. the, you know, the blood that is always ongoing needed. It's needed for all, ty all types of things. But, you know, all type, all blood types are needed and, mm -hmm. you know, needed daily. So just because you don't have O blood doesn't mean you can't come and donate. We are accepting all types of blood. And don't self-defer yourself. You know, if you, if you have you know, you think you can donate blood, come in and try to make an attempt to donate blood. And according to the CDC, about 1 in 13 African American babies are born with sickle cell. How important is it for African Americans to donate? Well, having a diverse blood supply is just very important in our community to better help the patients in need. You know, when we pair up a recipient to a, a donor that best meets its ethnic background, there's least likely of complications when they get their transfusion. So it is important to have a diverse blood supply as well as those thousand units every day to meet our daily needs. So, you know, we are welcoming all members of our community to come out and donate blood. Certainly, and so many people, if they want to show up, they want to donate, where can they go? Where do they go to It's a great that? question. We have 14 mm -hmm. neighborhood donor centers in the greater Houston area, so you can go to our website at giveblood.org to find one of those locations. We also have mobile drives that go on, and y'all are actually doing a blood drive uh, the 8th through the 12th mm -hmm. here at KPRC, so if you're in the area, 8th through the 12th, KPRC will be here as well. There you go, right here on the Southwest Freeway. Cameron Absolutely. Palmer, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah.